Empty passengers in panic. Clear in, Pip. Yeah, Give me one of those papers. Yes, sir. Keep it changed. Gee, thanks. Some story in the clearing, in it, mister. About the streetcar. Yeah, I know all about it. Listen, kid, why don't you plug the Daily Sentinel instead of the Clarion? Huh? You're selling both of them, aren't you? Ah, uh, sure, but that don't matter. Sentinel's make... got a better story than the Clarion ever had. No, it ain't, mister. Don't tell me, sonny. I phoned it in myself. It's all over the front page. Yeah, but it ain't as good as the Clarion story. Now, listen, Well, sir. take a look if you don't believe me. There's a Sentinel right here. Well, I'll be... Hey, taxi! Taxi! Clarion, here it! Look at that. Selling three clarions to every one of ours. The Daily Sentinel office. Step on it. A fine yarn this is. Why didn't we give it an eight-column head like the clarion? And I don't even rate a byline. Yeah, sometimes I figure maybe I'm working for the wrong outfit. All this uh, headline. Accident. Delay streetcar service. Yeah. Say, what's the matter with this taxi? I can make better time walking. <laughs> the Sentinel story, that streetcar business. Nothing like the Clarion, Mr. Reed. In this case, the Clarion isn't happy unless it can be sensational. As long as I'm publisher of this paper, I'm not going to color any story to gain circulation. A lot of readers may want lurid yellow journalism, but they won't get it from the Sentinel. I bet Laurie will be burned up, Mr. Reed. Laurie? Why? I imagine he expected a byline on this. Bylines are reserved for scoops or special features. Every paper in town covered this. Well, Laurie knows that. He ought to. Well, Laurie's one of the best reporters in the game, Miss Case. But once in a while, he lets his nose for news carry him to extremes. Well, I guess every reporter looks for sensation. Miss Case, there's something behind these accidents that doesn't strike me as being on the level. Well, I did notice that there weren't any until about the last month or so. Just when this man Fisher starts a campaign to operate buses in place of the streetcars. Say, Mr. Reed, I didn't notice that. What's going on around here, Casey? The Clarion's beating us three for one up. Oh, hello, Mr. Reed. On um, the streetcar story, is that it, Larry? Well, yeah, that's it, boss. Of course, I know there weren't any passengers injured, and there was no real damage to speak of. The Sentinel said that, Larry. Well, I guess the Clarion stretched the truth a little. A little? They called it a panic. Any sign of panic that you saw, Larry? No, one dame fainted when the door jammed, that's all. The Clarion would call a bargain sale at a dress counter a panic. But look, boss, I don't usually go out on a limb this way about a small-time accident. Only with that battle about the bus franchise coming up before the city council, this stuff is new. Not the way you think, Lowry. Huh? You recognize the name Fisher? The guy who's angling for the bus franchise? Well, what's your opinion of him? Offhand, I don't like him. Well, that's the feeling of most people. Nothing's ever been proved against him, has it, Mr. Reed? No, Miss Case. He's very clever. He may get his buses. Yes, Lowry. A month ago, the city council would have laughed at his demand. They're not laughing now. Yeah, but don't you get it? Doesn't it strike you as odd that the streetcar line should start running into trouble right when Fisher starts his campaign? One more accident and he'll get that franchise. Say, I must have been wearing blinders not to see it before. It's as plain as the nose on my face. Plainer, if possible. Lowry, I want to find out what's going on. You and me both, boss. If Fisher's responsible for the trouble the trolleys have been having, the Sentinel wants to know it. Okay, I'll start digging up dope on Fisher. Where he goes, who he sees, what he does, everything. Make it good and you get that byline. Right. And uh, get me the district attorney, Miss Casey. He might have some stuff that'll prove useful. So Fisher's the baby to go after. Get the district attorney and put the call through to Mr. Reed's wire. You still alone, Raleigh? Casey, there's one thing that burns me up. Do tell, because you didn't get a byline. No, no, it's the clarion. Selling three papers to wire one. It isn't right. The Sentinel could use a scoop, Lowry. You're telling me. The next time trouble hits the trolleys, all I wish for is that Fisher's in the middle of it. The middle of the wreck? No, pal, the middle of the story. I hope you're right, but I... I know, I know, Fisher's too smart. But you heard the boss. I'm going after him anyway. Absolutely no trouble, Grady. There's not a soul suspects those accidents weren't genuine. And what more do you want? Plenty. The city council already has my reports. Those reports aren't strong enough. Listen, Fisher, there's a limit. When the limit is reached, I'm the one who'll call a halt, Grady, not you. Now, hold on. The city you council can... will never act on reports like yours. If you want stronger reports, you've got to have tougher accidents. You're the city inspector, aren't you? Sure. Then fake those reports. There's a limit to what I can fake, Fisher. When a door jams, I can't make it look like a smack-up. If the brakes stick, I can't say there ain't no brakes at all. Why not? Too many people can check up on me, that's why. That bus franchise is going through, Grady. I don't care how. That's your business. And yours. If you want any dough from me, you'll see that. Yeah? I'll get this, Fisher. I'm in with you, sure. I can use a cut of the gravy you're heading for, same as anyone else. I'm making my reports as strong as possible without no one getting wise, see? You better. Now, you get that man of yours in the car bonds to do a job on one of those streetcars so it'll really crack up. And what? 
I'll turn in a report that will spell ruin for the streetcar company just like that. You'll be in, Fisher. The ones we have aren't strong enough, huh? You'd be taking a chance. Fix another accident and you can't miss. In that case, I might as well make sure. Now, are you talking? I'll get in touch with my man at once. This time, there'll be plenty for you and a district attorney, too. You can't go in there. I am in, sister. By what right are you... I'm to bust in like this, Mr. Fisher, but I had a deadline to meet. Oh, you're a reporter. Yeah, that's different to have a cheer. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, nice place you got here, Mr. Fisher. Wish the Daily Sentinel would do as well by us. The Daily Sentinel? I think maybe I'll be on my way. Hey, if I'm interrupting something... No, no, not at all. Goodbye, Fisher. That guy sure was in a hurry. He, uh, he had an engagement. Isn't he Grady, the city inspector? Who? Grady. Works for the city. No. No, just a friend of mine. Now, what can I do for you, Mr., uh... uh what did you say your name was? I didn't say but it's Lowry. Oh, yes, Lowry, with the Daily Sentinel. Say, what happened to you boys on that streetcar story? We had it. The Clarion played it up big. <laughs> it wasn't important enough. Not important? Think how many people ride on those streetcars. A lot. The lives of hundreds, thousands of people may be in constant danger, and you call it unimportant. Get off the soapbox, Fisher. Everyone knows your angle. Of course they do. I want my bus franchise to go through because the streetcar line is mismanaged, antedated, and a menace to the citizens of this city. Buses are better, huh? Much better. There's no comparison. Now, why don't the Sentinel get smart and help in my campaign? Like the clarion, eh? Exactly. How about it, Lowry? How about what? You're in a position to do me some good, Lowry. You mean uh, a nice little follow-up story on the streetcar accident? Placing the blame on the management of the company? That's the idea. Or maybe an editorial? Sure. Who knows? I might be able to do a favor for you in return. It sounds pretty nice. Sure it is. I knew as soon as you came in the door, you were a smart guy. What do you say? Why, you chiseling, lying crook. You're no good scheming grafter. Huh? Now, see here. You see here. Try to bribe me, will you? Bribe a reporter. If you weren't smaller than me, I'd plaster you flatter than that rug. Get out of my office. It's a pleasure. And get this, Fisher. The Sentinel is going after you with both barrels. If this bus franchise of yours is as phony as you are, then all I hope is I'm the guy who writes it up. Boy, oh boy, will I scorch you. <laughs> that two-pint reporter talking to me that way. After I get through with that streetcar company, there won't be enough left. Moran? You know who this is? I want you and Atwell to get busy. And that's right. Make it a real crack up this time. The worst the streetcar's ever had. Yeah? What do you want, Moran? Put down that wrench. We got a job to do. You mean for... Never mind the name. What's the next car going out? Number 618. Right over there. Okay. Come on. What's it going to be this time? The brakes? Another jammed door? Put in your lip and get moving. We're getting twice as much dough for this one. We're giving up the works. Can you tell me where I get the streetcar for Parsons Avenue, officer? Right here, lady, at the bottom of this hill. Thank you. And that's her now, just starting down the hill. It's coming awfully fast. Hey, look at that trolley. Why don't he stop? He's out of control. It's heading this way. Look out, it's going fast! report of the streetcar accident shows that the cause of the crash was faulty safety equipment. There is definite evidence of criminal negligence on the part of the streetcar company. Signed, Grady, City Inspector. The City Council hereby calls a special meeting to vote on the bus franchise. Signed, Hopkins, Chairman of the City Council. District Attorney for this city, I am indicting the officials of the streetcar company for criminal negligence resulting in injury to passengers. Signed, Martin, District Attorney. Special paper X-ray! District Attorney Pope Streetcar Crash! City Council of Oran Bus Franchise! Special X-ray!
I tell you, boss, I went over the whole setup with a fine-tooth comb. There's not a single string leading to Fisher. What about Grady? Uh, not a thing. He was calling on Fisher while you were there. Sure, I knew it was him, but he's in the clear. His report on the crack-up has been checked and double-checked. And if he wants to place the blame squarely on the streetcar officials, who's to stop him? Those two new men in the car barns, you got anything on them? Moran and Edwell? You say they've been spending money freely. Did they explain it? Yeah, claimed they wanted betting on a horse. Hmm. Try to check up on that. Honest, boss, we're stymied. It's airtight all the way. Gosh, I hate to think of a man like Fisher getting away with a stunt like this. Mm, me too, Casey. Sometimes I'd like to take the law into my own hands. What? Well, honestly, Mr. Reed, isn't that the only way to catch these crooks? Oh, Casey, hold on. There's only one gent who can get away with that stuff. And you don't look like the Green Hornet to me. Am I right, boss, or am I right? Huh? He says I don't look like the Green Hornet, Mr. Reed. I guess nobody listens to me around here. No, oh, I heard you, Laurie. I, uh... I was just uh, thinking... That evening, while Brett Reed was in his apartment, he spoke to Cato, his valet, and the only living man to know that Brett Reed is really the dreaded Green Hornet. And that's the whole story, Cato. Fisher has his tracks covered from every angle. What about Adwell Milan, Mr. Brett? No good, Cato. Even if those two could be charged with the crime of damaging the streetcar, even if they were picked up, it wouldn't have to catch Fisher. Why not? There's no actual evidence to connect them with Fisher. He could deny he ever heard of them. You look for something? Writing paper. Yeah, here it is. Here's the ink. No, I don't want this ink. There'll be some of the other in this drawer. Yeah, here we are. I want the mask and gun, Cato. The car. Is the Black Beauty ready? Yes, sir. Yeah. Quite a job disguising my handwriting. Now, the seal on the bottom. Placing the letter in his pocket, Britt Reed went through a secret panel in his clothes press. With Cato, he walked through a narrow passage within the walls of the apartment house, then downstairs to the supposedly abandoned warehouse that housed the sleek black car of the Green Hornet. Ready? All right, yep. get in. Once more, the powerful black car roared through the city streets, carrying the Green Hornet on his errand of justice. And on the trolley line, increased agitation to replace the streetcars with buses. Although the streetcar lines were blamed for the accidents, Bit Reed had reason to believe that they had been engineered by Fisher, who was out to grab the bus franchise. When ordinary methods failed to pin the guilt on Fisher, Brett Reed assumed the role of the Green Hornet to bring the criminal to justice. Father, it's late. You should be asleep. I can't sleep, Sally. Tomorrow the council decides on the bus franchise. They'll vote against me. Dad, they can't throw away all you've worked for. The streetcar lines are the finest in the country. Not anymore, Sally. Not when people are hurt through my neglect. Oh, it's not your doing, Dad. It's my responsibility. Oh, Dad. Fisher will get his franchise. Put me out of business. Here's something to make you sleep. Leave it on the night's table, Sally. There. The lights are out, too. Good night, Dad. Good night. Well, no good thinking about it. Might as well do as Sally says. I'll open the window first. Fresh air. Don't move, Hanson. Who are you? What are you doing out there? Never mind that. Take this letter. I... Take it. That's better. Now listen, Hanson. I'm not listening to... The mask. You're the green horn. You'll do as I say. I'll let you have some of this gas. What, what do you want? That letter tells you what to do, Hanson. You can take it or leave it. Suppose I refuse. Read it first and then decide. If you want to go on running your trolleys, you'll do as I say. <laughs> and the ace of spades. That's 40 smackers you owe me, Ethel. Shut up and deal. Regular sucker, ain't you? Next thing you know, you won't have none of that dough Fisher gave you. Put the cards down, Moran. Huh? Who's button in? Well... The guy's mask. Keep your hands on the table. Hey, I know who you are. That mask you're wearing. You're the Green Hornet. The Hornet? Let me out of here. I ain't hanging around. Back in that chair and listen. You too, Atwell. We ain't done nothing to you. 
You two are experts on fixing streetcars, aren't you? Now, wait a minute. I'll stall and all about you two. I tell you, you got us wrong. Well, cut it out, Atwell. This guy's the Green Hornet. We ain't fooling with him. Okay. Sure, we're the guys that done a job on them trolleys. At Fisher's orders, eh? Listen, Hornet. You heard me? Talk. You know it all anyway. What's the sense of asking us? Sure, it was Fisher. Hey, who you calling? I'm calling your boss. For what? He's going to meet us at the car barns. What? We ain't going to the car barns. Well, I want conversation from you, too. I'll ask for it. Yeah, but we... don't move, understand? This gun has gas enough to take care of both of you. Hello, Fisher. You are... This is the Green Hornet talking. That's what I said, the Green Hornet. Moran, come here. Me? Fisher's on the other end of this phone. He doesn't believe it's the Green Hornet is calling. Convince him. Uh, Hello, boss? Yeah, this is Moran. It's him, all right. That's enough. Now, get this, Fisher. I'm going over to the car barns with these two stooges of yours. Yes, tonight. I expect to meet you there inside half an hour. Never mind why. If you expect that bus franchise of yours to go through, you'll be there. Now, your whole scheme will be blown higher than a kite. You can't do this, Hornet. You can't make us go over there. You heard what I said. Get moving. Not on your life. In that case, I'll call the police. They'll be glad to know who's responsible for that trolley trouble. Oh, hold on. Not the cops, Barry. Now you're being smart. Yeah. Yeah, who'll go with you, Hornet? Remember one false move you and you... You won't need the rod, Hornet. We're going. All right. Come on, you rats, march. Pretty slow tonight, Lowry. Nothing but a couple of disturbing the peace charges. Stuff like that. Well, as long as I'm covering the police news, I might as well keep hanging around. Never can tell when something's going to pop. That's what we're here for. Say, whatever happened to that big lug that used to work for Mr. Reed? <laughs> you mean Mike Axford, dog? Uh, who else would I be meaning? The way that guy used to get in my hair. Him and his theories. <laughs> and every last one of them wrong. The boss got a letter from him the other day. He's out west. Oh, he is, eh? Well, all I hope is he stays there. Don't bank on it too much, Doyle. He may come back before... Police headquarters. Sergeant Doyle speaking. Police, this is Hanson, president of the street railways. Yeah? What's wrong, Mr. Hanson? Earlier this evening, I got a letter from the Green Hornet. What is that name? Did you say Green Hornet? Holy mackerel, Doyle. Quiet, Lowry. Keep talking, Mr. Hanson. I'd prefer to have you come out here to my place at once. It's on the corner... I know where it is. A squad car will be out there with me in it. What's up? I'll explain that when you arrive. Okay. The Green Hornet, is it? Well, here's where the Hornet loses his sting. That's what you think, Doyle. I want to be around when you try. Hey, listen, Hornet, what's the idea of Atwell and me doing a job on this trolley? Yeah, don't tell me you're working the same racket that Fisher's been doing. Keep working. You'll learn no reason soon enough. Hard work using this file with only a flashlight to give us light. Put some soap on that file. I don't want any unexpected visitors. What's the difference? The regular car barns on the next block. Repair shop's empty after midnight. Sure, nobody's going to butt in. Nobody could even hear us. Hey, you turned off the flashlight. We can't see nothing. Quiet. Must be Fisher, Hornet. Keep Keep quiet. Don't either of you try to move. I can see your figures plainly against the window. Red Atwell. Hey. That light. It's blinding me. Over beside the others, Fisher. What? The Hornet, Fisher. He's got us. I knew that phone call would bring you down here in a hurry. So it is true. That phone call did come from the Green Hornet. I told you. I wasn't sure, but I couldn't chance it. He made us. What do you want? Stop that range, Atwell. That's better. Now keep your hands high. What are you after, Hornet? Is it money? You see these, Fisher? Huh? Green Hornet stickers. Yeah. You're in a spot, Fisher. Suppose I plaster this trolley with these stickers. Put them all over. Go ahead. That has nothing to do with me. No. The city council will think the Green Hornet caused the streetcar accidents. Hanson will be vindicated. What will happen to your bus franchise then? Let the streetcars go and run. Exactly, Fisher. Hornet, I'll give you 20000 I want more than that. 30000 if you forget this scheme. I don't mean money, Fisher. All I want from you is your signature. My, my signature? Either you confess your part in these trolley crashes or those stickers go on. But whichever I do, I'm finished. Right. 
Either way, you lose. He's got you, boss. You're bluffing, Hornet. Am I? What can you possibly get out of it if I confess? Nothing personally. Only the satisfaction of knowing that your dirty scheme has been ruined. You better hurry, Fisher. The police will be here any minute. The cops? Hey, what? You're not serious. All right, Fisher, the stickers go on. No, no, wait, I'll sign. Give me time to get away before they come. I... Here. Pen's right here in my pocket. And here's the confession. Pretty sure of yourself, weren't you? Hurry. Turn the flashlight on a minute, Hornet, so I can see what I'm... Now, put him up. What gun? Stand back, Hornet. Thought I was reaching for my pen, huh? Nice work, boss. You had a shoulder holster, huh? You can't get away with this. I am getting away with it. Drop that gun of yours. I said you might. Come on, drop it. No, Hornet, we'll get you out of this place before any police arrive. Well, right, as well, grab him. Okay. Yeah, we got him. Listen to me, Fisher. You listen to me, Hornet. You're going to... You... What? A gas. Fisher, now for you two. Yeah. yeah. Breathe. Yes. Yeah. Hold him, Rand. Let me get him. Will you not? Now uh, you take care of him. I've got the Rand. My arm. Come on. Ah. Good thing you were here. Fisher's gassed. He's too knocked out. You used jujitsu on Atwell, huh? Yes, sir. I was behind the trolley. I saw you there, but the others didn't. Uh, Mulan. Yeah. Rand and Atwell will be coming too in a minute. Quick, pick up that gun. Very well. We'll leave this confession beside Fisher. It's not signed, but I think it'll serve the purpose anyway. Yes, sir. Yeah. Now we'll get back in the shadows beside that window and see what happens. The police come back here with me. There's no light for them to spot us. Oh. Oh, oh my. I don't see nobody. Here, give me that letter with the paint here beside the trolley. Here they are. Turn those flashlights this way. Hey, these two mugs have been socked. They're knocked out. Doyle, here's Fisher. Fisher? Yes. Jump and codfish, he's been gassed. Officer, these two men are Moran and Atwell. They work in the repair shop. Dirty work, I'll bet. Look at this. The axle on this trolley is filed almost all the way through. Yeah, he's coming around. Listen. Listen, Hornet. Don't don't tell the don't tell the cops. Hornet. Go on, Atwell. Keep talking. The cops. You and Moran did this job, didn't you? Hey. Smell it, Atwell. You're in too deep already. I, yeah, yeah. But we was working for Fisher. That's how. Fisher's the guy. How? I tell you, Fisher paid us to wreck all them trolleys. And you swear to that in court? Sure, I will. Sure. Moran, too. Does this mean Fisher will be implicated? Implicated? Mr. Hanson, Fisher will be convicted. He might have got away with it before, but now that we found him here with these two rats... Yeah, right in the middle of another job. He's sunk, Mr. Hanson. Hey, Sergeant, look at this. I found it next to Fisher's body. Yeah, give me that. That's for the police, Lowry. What the... Hey, it's a confession, but... Uh-uh, it isn't signed. Don't worry, it will be when we get Fisher down to headquarters. Take those lugs out. Oh, my jaw. Come on, you. Grab the other one, Joe. Yeah, we'll come back for Fisher later. Well, there you are, Hanson. You don't have to worry about the bus franchise when this hits the front page. What gets me is what happened to these guys. What do you think, Doyle? The Green Hornet. Huh? If I hadn't followed the instructions in that letter, we'd never have caught Fisher. What do you mean, Mr. Hanson? His letter told me to call you. At first, I wasn't going to trust him. Then I thought it over. Hey, we haven't seen that letter yet. It was such a rush. You got it with you? Yes, I think so. It's in longhand. Longhand? Give, Hanson. Maybe that handwriting can be traced. Here it is. But I doubt if you can trace it. I'll take that. When I first looked at it, the handwriting seemed to be disguised. Come on, Doyle. Come on, open it up. Hey, there ain't no writing on this page. It's blank. Well, maybe you need glasses, Doyle. I tell you, it's blank. Look. Well, what do you know? I'm positive there was writing on that paper before. Well, there ain't any now. All there is is this here green hornet seal in the corner. Doyle, I get it. It's disappearing ink. Disappearing ink? Yeah. Try and trace that. Man, that green hornet thinks of everything. And I thought I had me hooks on him. What's that? The hornet's car. There, out the window. That's him, all right. And there he goes. Oh, if it wasn't for that car. Look at it travel. Well, Doyle, I guess the hornet still got his sting. Ah. Yeah, but don't worry. Your name will go in the papers anyway. Yeah, that's right. I nabbed Fisher and them, too. And with a little help. Got a phone around here I can use, Mr. Hanson? The Sentinel's going to get an earful of front page stuff. And boy... I'd like to see the clarion try and beat this yarn. Sentry, Sentinel! Hornet smashes racket! Fisher arrested! Fast franchise defeated! Green Hornet! 